and I'm in a playful kind of mood. So I thought that today our update could be drawing a card for those of you who will be seeing this video from my new um, Ether deck. Of course, the physical copy's not out yet, it's just the app right now. But I did this for us, okay? So those of you who are watching this video are a match to this. What we drew is the teak balloon, that guy. Okay, here's what it means for you today. If the teak belong has appeared to you right side up, your fear of something in the situation you're in is unfounded. Oh my God, how rare is it that we hear that? <laughs> okay, just like many of the people of ancient Asia began to tell tales of a horse demon because they were initially afraid of horses, you're judging or maybe even projecting something to be a threat when in reality it isn't. Trying to conquer or eliminate fear will never work. It's important to remember that the opposite of fear is love. Therefore, any love you develop towards a thing diminishes your fear of that thing. But let's talk about what it means to love, right? To love something, you have to create some form of intimacy with it. So you've got to see it, hear it, feel it, and totally understand it. Obviously, when you understand something, that fear starts to go down, right? Because you increase your relatability to that thing. If you recognize your thing and the thing that you fear, you'll no longer push it away, which is especially important to know because we often project fear onto things that are external manifestations of the aspects within ourselves that we fear the most. You know, I'm always talking about this, the stuff that we suppress, reject, and I end us own. <laughs> so in this situation, ready for the question? What does your fear need? How can you caretake it? As it is, your own fear is what is preventing you from clearly seeing the reality of the situation at hand. It's important that you come to recognize with all your fears what your fears are all about. In order to understand your reaction, choose how to respond to your fear and see the situation, elements, and people involved as they are, instead of how you project that they are. Good news. That's so cool. We got like a positive answer. This is not one of those things where it's telling you you need to see something that you don't see because all hell's about to break loose. We just drew a card that said, actually, you don't need to be as afraid as you currently are because it's not as bad as you're thinking that it is. So maybe walk through the day with that in mind.